A group of Nobel Peace Prize winners has sharply criticized Myanmar's leader Aung San Suu Kyi for not doing enough to protect the country's minority Rohingya Muslims. They want the UN to act. They say the Myanmar government's crackdown on the Rohingya amounts to ethnic cleansing. Suu Kyi herself won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1991 for her campaign against military rule in Myanmar. Well, Azim Ibrahim is the author of The Rohingyas Inside Myanmar's Hidden Genocide. He says Aung San Suu Kyi has not even acknowledged the problem. This is an unprecedented letter. You know, never have we seen one Nobel laureate being condemned by so many other Nobel laureates. Aung San Suu Kyi now holds this dubious distinction. But we must also be aware, however, this isn't the first time that such a letter has been issued. In May of last year, we had seven Nobel laureates actually accusing Aung San Suu Kyi of presiding over a genocide. And I think this letter is born of complete frustration from many activists around the world of Aung San Suu Kyi simply unable to get a handle on the situation and of attacking the situation from all the opportunities that have been afforded to her. Aung San Suu Kyi hasn't, doesn't even acknowledge that the problem exists. Uh, on repeated occasions, you know, interviews with the foreign media, whether it's the Washington Post or the BBC, she actually refuses to even use the term Rohingya. She refers to them as either as Muslims in Rakhine or as Bengalis, which is essentially the narrative that's hardened in the public spheres that they're these Rohingya are all illegal immigrants from Bangladesh. So the first step is to actually acknowledge the problem exists.